this is sour sugar and welcome back to the fourth and the final video in my short little series where i draw disney princesses in prom dresses the first princess i will be drawing today is anna from frozen so i definitely tried to keep a lot of the norwegian flair with her dress i haven't really seen many prom dresses with this so this one's kind of a stretch it's not super super prom like but it definitely is a revamp to her current dress um, in the end, I added some sequins to it to give it more of a glitzy, glammy sort of feel. Um, tried to stick with the same color schemes as her. I also kept the hairstyle the same because I feel like that's very signature to her. She doesn't really wear her hair down very much. She does wear it in a bun sometimes, which could have been good because a lot of girls do wear their hair in buns to prom. I wore my hair in a bun to prom this year. Um... But I definitely, when I was creating all of these characters, I wanted to make sure that they were recognizable. That you could look at them and say, yeah, that's Anna. Um, so I wanted to try to keep the color schemes and hair and skin tones the same. So of course, it would not be complete if I didn't also draw Elsa. So the next character I'm going to be doing after this one is Elsa. Again, she's not technically a princess. She is a queen. Um, but I'm stretching it in this video series. I'm just doing any female character who is related to royalty in some way. I'm sure maybe I forgot something. Um, but I even included like... Um, I included Nala. I made Nala from Lion King into a human. Because she probably marries into royalty because she has a love interest with Simba so anyways yeah it's definitely fun though I wanted to challenge myself and do as many characters as I could think of and I know that traditionally on my channel my time-lapse videos don't perform as well as my tutorial videos but I enjoy making them anyways I really like doing them um and maybe also I kind of I feel like I'm making a podcast right now. I have this nice little mic that I got for Christmas and I'm just chit-chatting about things and talking about Disney because um, I'm very much a Disney fan and so is a lot of my family. So we definitely like Disney. We like going to Disney World and land and going on the Disney cruises and watching the Disney movies and stuff like that. Which, side note, I don't really know how copyright <laughs> works on YouTube and so I'm really hoping that like Disney doesn't copyright claim my videos because it is their characters. However, this is fan art, so I'm recreating their outfits. I'm not doing it to steal in any way. I obviously don't have malicious intent here and, um, you know, I'm talking about Disney information and I feel like there is a lot of YouTube videos out there where they're where, where they will either like review a movie or talk about characters or color schemes which is what i'm doing and i'm sure those don't all get copyrighted so fingers crossed that this all works there's really no way of getting around it these are disney characters but i love disney and i just i really wanted to do this project i've been working on it for like a year now obviously not straight i took breaks in between because when you give yourself a project this big um it's sometimes hard to sit down and do it start to finish but i really cranked it into gear in this last month because prom season's rolling up and i wanted to try to upload these to youtube during prom season so here we are with Moana, I wanted to give her a bold and confident stance because she's a very strong um, and decisive and, you know, driven character. Whereas with Elsa just passed, I figured if she were attending a dance, a dance with loud bass boosted music and dancing and stuff, I bet she would kind of be in the corner, not necessarily nervously, but definitely somewhat, you know what I mean? She wouldn't really be talking to people unless they approached her. She'd definitely be on the more shy side. So when I was making a lot of these characters, I tried to give them the um, expression or pose that I think that they would have in this situation. I would like to take a quick moment to talk about my Instagram account because I have made some really good strides for my own mental health that I would like to share. So in the past few years, especially with COVID, I started making more art. I started posting more regularly my art on Instagram and my, um, you know, activity and my likes and follows did start increasing. And it felt good. I liked that people saw my art and enjoyed it. However, I started making art not for myself, but for the feed, right? I would do things that were perfect color schemes and do all of these draw this in your style challenges, just hoping to, um, you know, climb the ranks, become one of those really cool um, Instagram artists that have tons of followers. And, you know, it just really wrecked my mental health. 
I was not making art for myself anymore. I was doing it for the follows and likes and it just really, you know, drawing felt like a chore. I was posting and creating new things because I needed stuff to post and so I have took matters into my own hands and what I did was I turned off likes and I turned off comments and I no longer care about hashtags because my likes and comments aren't being dealt with and I truly just post what I want to post. So by the time you're watching this video, if it's like a year or two from now, I do not know if my art account on Instagram will be the same as that. But for now, it is a really good space where I can just post my art so other people can see it because I don't want to just keep it hidden in a box. But I don't want to be dwelling on how many shares or how many, you know, like for like, comment for comment. I'm just so sick of that. It's toxic. And I really hope that if you're watching this, that you might try to do the same thing because I feel so much better with my drawing. I actually enjoy it now, so it's pretty great. I will link my Instagram in the description. Obviously, I don't really care about how many follows I get, but I do want to share my art because I am proud of it. I do work hard on it now, harder than me than I ever have before, but I am also more proud of it than I have ever been before. So feel free to check it out if you would like. The final princess in this series is also the most recent Disney princess as of creating this video, and that would be Raya. So again, I don't really know if Raya is technically a Disney princess. I'm pretty sure her dad is like the chief of her tribe or whatever terminology they use in this movie. Um, but I wanted to include everybody, just like I had talked about before. I gave her a very unique and different outfit. It's not even a dress. It's just something special. And I feel like showing up to prom in a thing like this with kind of like a half skirt behind and and um, shorts, dude, you'd, you'd look so cool. Everyone would be like, wow, that person, that person is really, really cool. So um, I also liked including her color scheme because she has kind of a different color scheme than a lot of the princesses do. Um, her look is very much like dystopian, uh, you know, like cape and um, layers and stuff. So she has a very, very cool look to begin with that I liked um, and I really enjoyed replicating. So this has been a super great project to do. Um, thank you so much for watching all of this. I hope you enjoyed it um, as much as I did. Um, let me know which Disney princess is your favorite and which costume is your favorite. Maybe they line up. Maybe <laughs> your favorite Disney princess. I, I also did your favorite job at so anyways thanks for sticking with me until the end have a great day